When it comes to demonstrating the soft skills or those Canadian work experience skills that employers are looking for in Canada, professional etiquette is certainly going to be one of them. Um, but really a vague and sort of obscure term. Stick around, I'm gonna walk you through the whole idea of professional etiquette when it comes to the Canadian job market. My name's Shauna Cole and this is Career Interrupted. Okay, so professional etiquette, what does it mean exactly? If you ask me, it's the whole idea of manners. What types of manners are employers looking for in the Canadian job market? A great way to demonstrate that you have an understanding of the professional etiquette norms, i.e. the manners that employers are expecting, is to use those manners in your job search. I'm going to walk you through five I think they're pretty easy. I think they're pretty easy ways to demonstrate that you know what's up when it comes to professional etiquette in the Canadian job market. Set up a professional voicemail and email. You wanna make sure that you've got a professional voicemail and email set up before you start handing out resumes because employers, well, they're either gonna call or email you. And if you don't have these foundational elements in place, how are they going to reach you? When it comes to your voicemail, sit down, write a script in advance, a professional script that ideally says, uh, says your name and ex sets expectations for a callback. And when it comes to your email, try to get a professional email address. So I think it's totally fine if you're at Gmail or Hotmail or one of those um, uh, generic service, service providers. But you want to make sure that the words that you're choosing don't have any sort of identifiers like your age or where you're from or anything that's just sort of silly or inappropriate. If at all possible, try to get your first and last name and add, um, add maybe an obscure number if you have to, not the year you were born. Um, I'm pretty much against providing personal information in any way, shape or form in the job search process because those things can lead to bias against the candidate and we want to eliminate that whenever possible. Set up a LinkedIn profile before you start your job search. It's pretty common for an employer to search for you on LinkedIn to learn more about your background and qualifications um, before, before they even have you in for an interview at times. So you wanna make sure that you're showing up online in a really professional way, in a way that's going to advance your candidacy instead of hold you back. So think about what your LinkedIn profile is looking, uh, looking like these days. Is it like selling you and uh, adding value to, uh, to your candidacy? Is it maybe doing nothing? Cause it's like crickets over there and kind of empty. Consider completing your LinkedIn profile. Provide information in your profile that shows the work you have done. You've got great opportunities using LinkedIn to showcase previous work. You can use functions in the featured section to even upload some files. So consider setting up a LinkedIn profile before you ever head out on a job search to really elevate your candidacy. Do not drop by to see a Canadian employer. There is no dropping in. Canadian employers want you to have an appointment set up before you show up on their doorstep. So I know in some countries that would be perfectly acceptable and we can go and stop in on our potential employers. Uh, but in Canada, I would say definitely do not do this because that employer is probably going to think you're annoying. So a Canadian employer is going to expect that you are going to have some sort of knowledge about their company before you arrive in an interview. Even before the phone interview, you want to be prepped and understand what the company's all about. A great place to start is the company website. Check it out, learn about the company, find some sort of interesting fact that you can perhaps ask a question about. 
Take it a step further, check them out on social media. What sorts of content are they posting? Take a look at it, find a post that you find particularly interesting and engage in a discussion with them about it. Better yet, if you can find someone, if you have someone in your network that works for that company, reach out to them, have a conversation with them and see what it's like to actually work with that organization. So a Canadian employer is looking for your input on your career. They want to know that you have a clear direction in mind. I know in some cultures it would be more accepted to say, you know what, I'm just looking for whatever job you want to give me. In the culture in Canada, that's really not the case. The Canadian employer is likely going to want you to weigh in and help them understand what it is you want out of your career. So it's going to be critically important that you have already developed some sort of career vision for yourself. This exercise starts with finding career clarity. Um, I've got a full lesson on this and I'll link to it. I'll link to it in the description. But what you really need to take away from this item is that it's critically important that you know, you know what your objective is and what your vision is for your career before you're out looking for a role in the Canadian job market. When it comes to the whole idea of professional etiquette, this is absolutely something employers want to see that you've got as you enter, enter in the interview process. You can absolutely get an advantage by showing through your actions and through a well-organized job search that you do understand what those norms are. So today we talked about a few of those key norms, like making sure you've got your email in place and your LinkedIn profile and so on. These are professional standards that Canadian employers are absolutely expecting of you. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and do not drop by. Do not drop by. You absolutely, you've gotta make an appointment. Mm -mm, do not drop in. Thanks so much for watching and remember, make change work.